At 21 years old, Tyler was still a virgin, and his two best friends and everyone that knew about it made fun of him because of it. It wasn't like he was single or he was unattractive, far from He had a very beautiful girlfriend, Brittany, who he had been in a relationship with for a couple of years. But unlike his friends, Tyler was not promiscuous. He had been saving himself because he wanted his first time to be special. And in the beginning of the movie, Brittany calls him and she breaks up with him. Apparently, she had been having a ton of affairs all the while that they had been together. Mostly with older men. And she was even messing around with his dad. And he's very sad about this. He goes to a bar to chill with his friends. And his friend Tom tells him that that day he had also lost his job at a real estate and architectural company. His other friend, Dick, comes around. Now, Dick was hated by all the ladies in the town. Dick tells them that he had been out with a girl the night before and she had drugged him and tattooed his penis. And he wanted them to help him with what she taught him. Weird because there were a lot of people at the bar and to everyone. They looked like they were doing something sexual and they were just disgusted. On reading it, Tom tells him that it spelled contaminated and he was shocked and disgusted. A friend of theirs, Jeremy, comes over and tells them that he had been in Aspen sleeping with older ladies and he tells them that Aspen was just teeming with rich sugar mummies and he asked them to come over that they'd be able to stay at one of his sugar mummies' house. Tom and Dick were excited about this but Tyler didn't really want to. But then as he was contemplating it, his now ex-girlfriend Brittany comes over with her new boyfriend and he just changes his mind and agrees to go cougar hunting with his friends in Aspen. As soon as they could, they packed their bags and threw them in the back and on top of Tyler's car and they all drove to Aspen. On getting there, they were excited with the amount of rich older ladies all around and Dick saw this beautiful rich lady and he was instantly enchanted by her. On getting to Jeremy's sugar mommy's house, where they were supposed to stay, they saw notes telling them that they couldn't live at that house, but that they could live at another house and the note also left some basic tips on how they could find jobs. On getting to the house, they find that it was an uncompleted building and Tyler starts to rethink the whole trip, but his friends weren't going to give up that easy. At night, they go to a restaurant to find a job and they are instantly bombarded with rich older ladies everywhere. The restaurant was short of three workers so, like fate, they filled in those positions and resumed that night. While they were there, Tyler saw a pretty girl who was about his age and she just took his bread away. She had overheard his conversation with Dick, with Dick just fawning over rich older ladies and she thought it was funny and pathetic. Tom sees a beautiful older lady who seemed to be an architect and the two of them strike up a conversation. At another table was Kathy an older lady who was in the process of going through a divorce. Her husband had cheated on her and even though she didn't really want to leave her, she felt like she had to. That night, she was with her best friend Linda and Linda was trying to convince her to go to a charity benefit dinner in two weeks. To be fair, she had founded the benefit but she didn't want to go because her estranged husband was going to be there and she didn't want to see him. Linda tries to persuade her to sleep with a young guy as a way to get back at her husband, but she didn't want to. While they were talking, Tyler comes over to give them some water and he sees Dick being led away by a beautiful older lady and he gets distracted and mistakenly spills water on Kathy's dress. He runs off to get her a jacket and on his way back, he sees Dick. His date had run off on him because of the tattoo on his penis. When he gives Kathy the jacket, Linda tries to persuade him to go to the charity benefit with Kathy as a date. But neither Kathy nor Tyler wanted that. So Linda threatened to report Tyler to the manager and so as not to get fired, he agreed. She also asked to take Dick with her as her own date. Now Tom wasn't very happy about this because he wanted to go but he didn't have a date and the guys didn't want to take him with her. The next day, they go to a mountain ski resort and while they are there, Dick sticks a hot dog down his pants and then he and Tom run after some older ladies. Tyler sees the pretty girl that he had seen the night before at the restaurant and it was love at second sight for him. He runs after her but trips underwear and they both get into a cable car. 
While they were in the car, they start to talk and she introduces herself to him as Penelope and tells Tyler that she still remembers their conversation from the night before, his conversation with Dick. Tyler tries to assure her that he wasn't into older ladies and that that was just Dick and Tom, but she doesn't really believe him. He compliments the design of her goggles and she tells him that she had designed it herself. She was an artist. Being a graphic designer himself, he was impressed. While admiring it, he mistakenly dropped a hundreds of feet down the cable car and Penelope wasn't very happy about that. When they got down from the cars, they both ski down to the area where he had dropped it. It was a very steep slope and he had to ski by himself to retrieve the goggles. On his way down, he crashes and bruises his forehead but he managed to get the goggles in one piece. Penelope was very happy with him and she invites him to get coffee with her at the refreshment area of the resorts. Meanwhile, Dick and Tom finally make it to the ladies and the ladies quickly notice the huge bulge on Dick's pants. Sam sees Rhonda and he runs off to her. He was infatuated with her. While they are talking, Dick comes over, still with the hot dog in his pants and Rhonda's dog gets a whiff of it and rips it out of his pants. While Tyler and Penelope were bonding over the refreshment, Tom and Dick comes over. Dick sees the lady that he had seen the day they had arrived and the two of them exchange romantic glances. It was obvious that the feeling was mutual. Tyler gives Tom his car. Penelope was going to be dropping him off at the house and she also invites him out for a day later that night. And for the next two weeks, they spend most of their time together, just bonding and falling in love with each other. At the end of the two weeks, he finally lost his virginity and he feels great about this. Meanwhile, Tom and Dick were still having a really hard time finding older ladies to sleep with. Dick's main problem was the tattoo on his penis, like nobody wanted to put something that spelled contaminated inside. Finally, it was the day of the benefit and Tyler went home to his friends. They were already dressed for the event and Tyler tells them that he didn't want to go. He wanted Tom to take his place, but Dick wasn't having it. He emotionally blackmails Tyler into agreeing to go with him and Tyler finally agrees. Soon, their dates arrive and from the get-go, Tyler's date, Kathy, was already drunk. She couldn't stop talking about her husband's infidelity and the impending divorce. Dick, on the other hand, was starting to find that his date was a little bit weird. She was talking about an alternative method of sex that he had never had, tantrum, like what that even mean. And while he was interested, it was still a bit weird to him. Tom shows up at the event all by himself and he quickly tries to raise up three women and he does an awful job at it and the ladies ditch him. He was left feeling drunk and frustrated. On getting to the table, Kathy found that they were going to be sharing the same table with her estranged husband and he tries to tell her that he still loves her and that he didn't want a divorce but she doesn't listen. She was just so mad and heartbroken, especially seeing that he had brought a very beautiful young girl who was his assistant as his date. Now, Dick and Linda leave and she also leaves with Tyler. Tom sees Rhonda and he goes to her. The two of them start dancing and they just hit it off on the dance floor. Meanwhile, Dick and Linda go backstage to go do the deed and she sees the tattoo on his dick but before they could do anything, the curtain opened and everyone saw what they were doing. They had to throw him out of the party after that. On his way out, he sees the beautiful cougar that he had been infiltrated with since the day they came to Rasper and she told him that she had been waiting for him. She introduces herself to him as Ursula and she orders him to take off his pants. After some hesitation, he does and he tells her what was tattooed on him. She didn't seem to mind. She showed him a tattoo on her back that spelled filthy and it was just like a match made in heaven between them. He gets in her SUV and they drive off to her estate. Kathy on her end couldn't handle being around her husband and at the end of the party, she was so drunk that Tyler had to drive her home. On getting to her place, she invited him inside and even though he didn't want to spend any more time with her, she was just so persuasive that he felt compelled to at least spend a few minutes with her. Meanwhile, Tom takes Rhonda home and the two of them have crazy sex. At Kathy's house, Kathy and Tyler smoke together, getting high and talking about her husband's infidelity and Kathy starts to get sexual and seduce Tyler. He starts to think about Penelope, his girlfriend and he just couldn't do it, he couldn't sleep with her and he just told her to stop. But at that moment, Kathy's daughter comes over, calling for her mom and they could both hear her voice 
and they were shocked, Tyler mostly because he had no idea that Kathy had a daughter and to make it worse, it was Penelope, his girlfriend. So he starts to freak out and Kathy hides him in the bathroom. Penelope gets inside the house and while she is talking with her mom, she sees Tyler's clothes on the floor and she didn't know they were Tyler's but she knew that they were men's clothes and she realized that there was a man in the house and it wasn't her dad. Her greatest wish was for her parents to get back together. So she was really pissed to find that her mother had brought another man to the house and she starts to look for this person. Tyler hears her and he just gets stricken with fear. He finds a bathrobe and he goes through the window and starts to run. Penelope runs after him and tackles him to the ground. When she saw that it was Tyler, she was beside herself like totally dismayed. Tyler tries to explain to her and tell her that they hadn't done anything but he was so high and agitated that he just threw up on her and she drove off. Their relationship was over. On his way back to their shack, Tom drives by on his way back from London's house and picks him up. Dick on the other hand arrived at Ursula's mansion and she gave him some Viagra powder and they were having a crazy swell time. When they were done, Tyler called him to tell him about what had happened. He was mad at him that he had cajoled him into going out with Kathy. The two of them got into an argument and they decided to start being friends for a bit. The next day, Tyler goes to Penelope's house to talk to her. When he got there, she was so mad at him. She thought that he had slept with her mom and because of that, her parents were speeding up their divorce. His little stunt had made it to the news and everyone knew about it. In Ursula's house, Dick wakes up to find a ton of guys all dressed in whites. It was weird. Even his friend Jeremy was there and Jeremy tells him that Ursula was actually the cool girl that he had been talking about. He's cool. He looks around for her and he sees her getting a massage and he goes to her and asks her who everyone was and he finds that she was sleeping with all the guys there and they all had STDs and he was shocked. He had thought that they were exclusive so learning that he was just one of her 50 plus leaving body calls, it was really heartbreaking for him. He tries to confront her about the situation but she instead gets some of the guys to take him to a sort of like torture room and she and some of her minions try to torture him there. But he runs away and on the way he gets into a bus and as fate would have it, Penelope was in the same bus. They start to talk and share their frustrations with their dating lives and he tells her that Tyler wasn't a cougar hunter and that he hadn't slept with her mom but she was pissed. She tells him that her parents were meeting with their lawyers in an hour to finalize the divorce and that she wanted nothing to do with Tyler because it was all Tyler's fault. On hearing this, Dick goes to Tyler and he sees that Tyler was packing up. He was leaving. He apologized to Tyler about their fight and he tells Tyler about Penelope's parents' divorce. He convinces Tyler to go to the courthouse to try to stop the divorce and they both get into Tyler's car and they go to the courthouse. At the courthouse, the security man tells them that he wouldn't let them get inside unless Dick does something inappropriate with him. So Tyler just leaves him on his deck and they both make their way into the building. The security man catches up with them and Tyler runs off while Dick tries to pull him off. Tyler gets inside the room and he sees Kathy and Penelope and Penelope's dad and their lawyers and he just tells them everything that happened and how he really thought about Penelope. After that, he leaves and him and his friends pack up their stocks and go back to the city. Tyler designed a new tattoo to cover Dick's PP tattoo and while they were at the tattoo parlor, Penelope showed up. Dick had called her and she apologized to Tyler for how she reacted and everything and they both moved back to Aspen together. Tom also got himself a girl and at the end of the movie, everything worked out pretty well for all of them. So, that do it for now. Till next time, stay pure. Peace.